Hello my workies fam! Welcome to my channel, my name is Mia and this is my workies. I'm a self-taught UI UX designer and I try to share tips and tricks that would make your life hella easy. On today's video, I'm going to share 5 different tools that you could use to sharpen your UI UX skill set. These tools are really good because essentially they look like you're having a mentor up on your hand. So some of these are the tools that I used while I was trying to learn UI UX and there were some other things that I would follow. Let me know if you wanted me to share a video on how did I sharpen my UI UX skills outside of using this tool. What did I use? What did I do? What were my tricks into that. Let's jump into the video now and check out those tools and see how you can use them to sharpen your skills. Okay guys, we're here. I'm gonna go over all of these different websites and just explain to you how you could get the most benefits from each of them. The first one is actually designer C's or designer thighs and here it generates random props for you to practice your design. You can choose a difficulty, you can reload until you find something that would benefit you the best and then you can actually choose a duration of time which can start pause everything so this is the perfect platform for doing this type of stuff so i would say like a medium difficulty and so it says design a dashboard for a wine tracking app to help sales team trainers you see these are can you make it pop plus and that's just a joke under it there this is actually a really good practice for you to get to know different types of businesses and different types of users for example this is for the sales team trainers because they want to train different people to understand about their product maybe it's a winery it's on you to decide how to take care of this business and how to grow it so make this show it to your friends families ask them to help you give you feedback on it and I think this is a really good way to understand different types of users and different types of business. The next one is similar to this one. It's sharpen.design. And here you can decide if you want to work on a design, STEM education. They have all types of generators here. And for example, for design, you could choose product and UX, which I chose here. And I would say for a digital product. And you can just refresh for it to give you a new idea. So it says that designer VR2 for a zoo in the UK and it should be accessibility focused so every everyone can actually use it so this is again a really good thing because for example I saw me I just designed a VR tool for like one project so it's really good for you to get to different variations of the design types that you can go and learn about them since I wouldn't think of this on my own obviously this is a really good tool you can go ahead and check out their website and then next one is fake clients.com so here you get to work with fake clients who give you a brief of what they want to do and ask you to help them achieve their goal so for example here i would choose ux design and i would ask it to generate a brief for me it says here hey i'm sadie i'm looking for a ux designer i want to have a design to quickly and easily sell clothes you don't wear anymore would you be interested you could actually get get longer briefs you could actually get shorter briefs and this is good because you would get a language that the client would reach out to you and you could actually work on your skills of answering and creating concepts for them so i really like this one as well the next one is goodbrief.io so here you can actually again choose the type of brief you want them to give you i would say a website and then what would the industry be so whatever you're interested in or whatever you want to work on this is what type of brief they're going to suggest to you so i'm just going to say technology as it is here i'm going to ask it to generate so this is a more fully structured brief this is somehow better if you want more details this is better than the fake clients if you want to have like a more structured briefs so it, it gives you the company name it gives you the company description of what they do it gives 
gives you the job description and it actually gives you a deadline i wouldn't suggest you to follow this deadline because obviously you could get it done faster but again this is a really good way of understanding different types of briefs that clients would give you on the real world you would have a lot more details than this let me know if you want me to create full briefs from real clients of mine for you guys so you could actually work on some real projects but this is good as well for a start and then the final one is the drawer so it actually gives you different challenges that you can even submit here and win prizes this is really exciting you can just click on get a challenge choose all of the different types of problems that they're showcasing right now so it's commuting diet groceries household shopping travel i would just click on shopping so it says that help people make their stuff last longer design a late shipping options like all of these different types of challenges that you can choose i would choose design an ar shoe measure feature for clothing e-commerce app help senior season shop contactless this is really cool so you just click on there and you have all of the different details for the day you have the problem you have the audience you have the products you have the solutions you have to do the prototype you have to do the testing and then you have to submit the work so this is like really to the fullest and it has that option of getting your work reviewed by pros so i would really suggest you guys to go over this and do it because this is really good this is something that you could like learn a lot from and they have a really good website they have a good a slack community that you can talk about so this is the best of the best and i would suggest you to go over these challenges and just test yourself and get better skills this way regardless of that i would want to create a different video talking about all of the ways you could sharpen your skills on hands-on work instead of uh, like introducing you to tools so let me know if you wanted that and let me know if that would work for you yeah that's pretty much it for today do make sure to subscribe we hit 500 subscribers last week i'm super happy about it and i'm really thankful to all of the new people that joined my channel welcome i hope you enjoyed the journey with me so don't forget to like leave a comment and let me know what you thought about this video would you use any of these tools and if you already have what do you think about them that's it pretty much for today see you in the next video bye Thank you.